other cars are more dangerous here than Germany. Hello and welcome to Theme Park Today where we are back here in the UK and back here at Thor Park. It's Friday night, it's going to be busy and Hyperia is on one train. It's been on one train for the last week after Valiant again last week, I did a video about it. Yeah, it's not acceptable, is it? The busiest time of the year and it's on one train and they haven't even communicated or whatever. It's totally unacceptable. So I don't know how many Hyperias we're gonna get. The main priority will begin in the dark, but there's plenty of other rides to enjoy today. It's not Hyperia mm -hmm. day today. If you've not seen that video, check it out. Sorry to start off with my own, as hopefully the day goes yeah. better. Current queue time for Hyperia is 140 minutes. <laughs> So we have just been on the swarm for our first ride here today. Yeah, I do love that ride. It is short though. After being in Germany, it is definitely short. I mean, I knew it was short anyway, but you know, after being in Germany, that ride is short. But it's still a good ride. It's nice and smooth. It's lived over the expectations. Yeah, looking forward to giving that a go in the dark later on. So yeah, I've just been on stealth there. Yeah, first time we've done that for a little while. We didn't go on there last time, really, because it was a high period day. Do like that ride. It is a short ride, but obviously that ride is designed to be a short ride. It's not the only one of its kind around. Uh, it doesn't beat uh, Red Force. It's the only other ride of that kind that I've been on, but it is a great ride. Could you imagine stealth and Rita together as one ride? That would actually be pretty amazing. Rumple Rapids is closed. It is now closed for the season and I bet you this is not open again until May. They have actually put on their website now that this is a seasonal attraction. So basically it's going to be open May until uh, end of September probably which is just pointless. You know this could they should get rid of this nice area to build the next coaster. What do you think? I mean I did do a video about that but yeah what do you think? Nice new coaster here because this ride is just it's pretty useless you don't even get well on it anymore. It's a pretty useless ride. But yeah, it used to open during Friday nights. It used to open until the end of the season, but no more. Free sweets, we keep getting uh, free stuff at Tool Park lately. Yeah, we have just been on big easy bumpers, the bumper cars here. Yeah, it seems uh, bumper cars are more dangerous here than Germany because you know you need to put a lap bar down. There was no lap bar or no protection in Germany, it was just left to it. <laughs> The 
another great ride that is in the Mrs. Inferno there. Yeah, still my most ridden ride to date. Yeah, the operations here are not terrible, but they're not as great as in Germany. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel, smash a like on the video. Looking forward to riding all these rides in the dark later on. It's now gone 3 p.m. Yeah, Friday nights are starting, shows and stuff. We got it a little bit later because it's open till 9, yeah. If you've not done so already, make sure you watch our Europa Park vlogs. Yes, Europa Park was absolutely amazing when we went to Germany. We've got three vlogs and a travel vlog of the channel from Europa Park. Yeah, there goes the one train of Hyperia. Yeah, this is totally unacceptable. One train on Hyperia. It's been on one train for a week, no communication. It's currently got a 150 minute queue. You know, the queue strategy looks short, but obviously there's only one train. <laughs> Just gone down to 130 minutes after I said that. Waited for Hyperia and got row one. So there you go, row one for Hyperia. So we have just been on Hyperia. Yes, we decided to do it. It's a long queue, but you know, we're not going to get it to March. Now, yes, Hyperia is. It's much, much shorter than Voltron, but it's still a good ride. You know, I do love it. Yeah, it's only 30 seconds, you know, from the top of the lift hill to the weight run, but it's still a good ride. It packs in all the elements. It's some good air time on that ride, but it's nowhere near that long as Voltron. It's nowhere near as intense, but it's a great coaster to have here in the UK. Definitely the UK's number one coaster. It was the fastest. Looking forward to riding that one in the dark. And uh, yes, it's starting to get a little bit dark, but still got a little while to wait. Uh, this is going to be probably our last visit until March. We did have Hyperia Day three weeks ago, where we had six rides.
Christ. <laughs> From the power of the moon, I will protect our land. Come forth, my dear coven, let our dark magic command. Highlights of one of the many shows that is included for Friday night at the park for done Nemesis Inferno in the dark. It feels faster. I don't know if that's because it's dark and everything. So I think it's because we had row seven, the back row. I've not had the back row on that for a very, very long time. But yeah, it's called in the dark. I mean, it's not completely dark. It's lit up and stuff, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, Nemesis Inferno in the dark is maybe it's been a long time since I've had any thought part rides in the dark. It didn't come last year. I can't remember if it came in the year before we're going to do the swarm and hyperion in the dark it's all park at night time very different very lit up
my Peter over there. Looking forward to riding out in the dark. Do that after we've been on a swarm. We've got Iperi and the moon there. Who wants to hide away in the dark? Dark! We have just had the swarm in the dark as you can see dark yeah uh yes i do like that ride in the dark it's not you know completely dark but it is dark dark you know like you know they do have some light shine on here which is disappointing and stuff if they turn up the lights it would be even more amazing but a swarm in the dark is a good ride and i do like that that's the last swarm of the season probably i don't think we're going back here again this year we are going to go do i appear in the dark now I don't think we're going to get time for stealth because up here is so long. We've got to do that in case they close the queue early. So unfortunately no stealth in the dark this time. But uh, we did have it in the daytime and stuff. But let's go see what Hyperio is like in the dark. I do love how smooth Swarm is though. It is a really lovely, smooth coaster. It's just a lovely, lovely coaster. Very uh, misty around here.
And so we have just been on Hyperia in the dark, massive queues. Uh, when it closed at nine o'clock, I can't believe they left it over to nine o'clock, but when it closed at nine o'clock, the queue was 200 minutes. That is over three hours. Um, I can't believe they left it open until nine o'clock. It's crazy. The staff are going to be in there till midnight. <laughs> yeah, Hyperia in the dark. Is it in the dark though? It's a bit bad, really. It's lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, you know, why are the lights on? Turn the lights off. You need lights there for emergencies. I get that. But turn the lights off when it's not for emergencies. It's just silly to do all this advertisement. You know, right up here in the dark and stuff. When it's not really. It wasn't amazing, amazing. Anyway, that completes the vlog today. We had a good day. Delph, Nemesis, um, Swarm, all great rides. Yeah, we didn't get stealth in the dock because of the long queues on Hyperia, unfortunately. So that was a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash a like on the video. So just to add, we did not do the mazes today because you now have to pay for them. When they were free, we used to do them they were a bit of fun and stuff. Yeah, next day, they get the second train back on Hyperia. Typical, I know. A uh, good job they did, because it's still got over a two-hour queue, two-and-a-half-hour queue, uh, even with two trains. Wow. Coming up in half-term, we've got uh, Legoland, Chesington, and Alder Towers coming up, as well as Alder Towers Fireworks to finish off the season. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't seen our Europa Park videos, they're on the channel now. Check them out. We had an amazing time in Europa Park. Operations there are just amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.